Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Terra Tech, where we have quite a few people around us we should take care of. But I did want to go over final checks with the main tech, where we don't have any more room, really, to put anything on the back. So, we don't really want to put anything on to cover up the pads, but we do have this middle area that we could contemplate something. So, let's go through and see if there's anything we have that we could toss in there that might be effective. These, but I don't think forward. Maybe we'll put them in sideways, just in case something's on the side of us. <laughs> but I don't think forward forwards would be unless oh dear okay let's just wreck this guy <laughs> hmm but as I was saying that actually clears it it looks like Yeah, let's take these two off. Yeah, that that doesn't clear it right there, but that does. Okay, so let's have it right there then. Can we have these right here? Hmm. Then we do have armor blocks, but... Not a lot of the GSO ones. So, just throw those back there. Those should get absorbed. Oh, wait. Maybe not on that side, though. Yep. Oh, no. It squeezed through. That should be able to make it there. We're going to need some sort of near bot for the time being, too, real quick. Because, since he's not going to have any of that so let's first of all get a body and some wheels okay come on yep just like that Perfect. Okay. Now let's get some magnets on this guy. To clean this up. Where did my mini magnets go? Oh, did they get destroyed? Ah, oh, okay. Well, that's fine. We'll, we'll figure that out in a moment then. We do have some people in the distance that are kind of scaring me that I wish for them to destroy each other. So, let's get them activated and let them start fighting each other. And I'll just instigate here. Yes, fire. Oh, that's right, I don't have the lasers anymore, which is somewhat of an issue. Let's try to make it underneath, get underneath all that fire. Did I get him? Oh, wow, he was terribly exposed right there. And then let's get this guy. The lasers are very effective for long-ranging people, so I might have her rethink about the how I have this set up. Come on, I see your cab. It's oh, you have a secondary cab. Oh, you had two that were just facing each other, huh? And pop. Okay, so that is a lot of pieces that will help us get our, our mega base going. So let's get this all getting absorbed. I really do like the turning radius of this new tech a little bit better. It seems to move a little faster too, or it feels like it does. 
Maybe it just moves a lot more smoothly. <laughs> so, maybe that's it. Oh, I'm in the way. Okay, let's get out of the way. <laughs> okay, got everything from over there. Then let's get everything from over here. But yeah, so this tech kind of proof run right there. It seemed to work. <laughs> <laughs> but I do want a couple lasers on it because that would actually be a little effective I do believe so let's carry this over here because there's more stuff over here to be absorbed and in fact there's a lot more stuff in general that could be absorbed but We want to collect stuff from right there. We can't see our battery life at the moment either though, which is a bad thing. So, where, where's Ratbot? Ratbot. Let's look at the Venture Co because there's one that I really, really enjoy in here. Do I have it? The, we do not have the battery, which makes me sad. I really like the VentureCo battery. I was willing to make it, too. Okay. Mm. Okay, then. Let's click back over to the main tech. And... We need to put some batteries on so that we can see how much battery life we have so let's grab a couple we'll put them on back here I think oh no I right there actually and like that so that we just have a really good indicator for how much battery we have it's <laughs> the best way to put it okay let's put you back in the SCU and that's right we wanted some laser quick and then we'll go do that quest for to unlock Hawkeye just two lasers on the side or four lasers I guess that would be I could put one more block, actually. And later I'll make them into legitimate threes. I like that idea. Okay. Hmm. That does block the angle at which these can shoot. Which is a slight problem, but I don't think one that is terrible ba terribly bad. Okay, so we can add stuff in there. It has to be very small, though. Hmm. Not sure about that. <laughs> For now, let's just have these drills, just in case. They'll be the maw. So. But yes, this is a zone which much larger techs spawn, so... I do have to keep that in mind. So let's head out. Test these lasers out. Perfect. <laughs> now the big thing that we don't have on this tech is a booster. This is meant to be first and foremost a fighter craft. So it's not very fast. And, but it will stand up to most other tacks. So, and that's kind of the trade-off. So we are going to be moving quite slowly. We won't be able to boost towards it. It is very far away, in fact. But that's our fault because we should have done that before. And I'm getting a little high-centered there. We should have done that before we left for the salt flats but 
the base will be fine all, all on its own back there, so I'm not going to worry about it. And let's head out and get this done. We should actually make a small... Oh, really? That's the easiest way to get through, and I don't want to use any battery life because it's far enough as is. I'm going to be using up a lot just to get out there. But to make a small recharge station that we can just drop in. No. Go away. I see you down there. But, because that would be pretty effective for a tech this big and this slow that when you, when we go out, that it can actually, we can call down a recharge, so to say. So that is an option. Okay, how much farther is it? We've gone 0.6 kilometers or uh, 600 meters, essentially. Yeah, this thing... Speed is not this thing's thing. <laughs> okay, we had a tech that dropped in over there that I do not wish to face. Although that looks very... Is that supposed to be speedy? Because using Geocore is not the best thing if you want to be speedy. Like, you have to add so much more to get speed onto this thing. Okay, we are out of the mountainous area, though, so we are making better time. We're doing okay with battery life, surprisingly. Another 0.6 meters moved. About double that left to get out there. But we are actually seeing what may spawn out here. A little derp craft. <laughs> it's fast, but obviously meant to be more of an annoyance. Hmm... Yeah, there's not much place where we could add thrusters, even. We could add them down here, maybe. We wouldn't have any storage unless we put that reverse facing. Oh, really? And you're not an easy craft, either. Okay, just wreck him. He didn't do that much damage to me. So irritating. Okay, let's get down this and up the dune right here. We do have wheels that are not spinning though, which means we have to be careful. So it means that this area can possibly high center us. Okay, about 600 more meters. And then we'll have those three techs that we have to deal with. But after that, we should be good for the quest. So, but yeah, these erudites have a lot of ore in them. <laughs> it's actually quite shocking how much. But to be fair, the I think the carbite, well no, the Crafty Mike one didn't give us necessarily that much. It was about the same amount. And there's so much erudite around, it's almost insane. So, anywho, all of the techs are fairly together too is the problem. So to aggro one, we would aggro all. Which I think is the one thing that they did right with how they designed the AI for these to work specifically. They group up, so. Okay, let's just melt them, maybe? Yep, uh, let's roast this one. 
How's our battery doing? It's doing okay. Let's come move back towards this one and wreck him because he has his cab exposed. Okay, and then we can turn around and get the other one, which is good because, well, all of their cabs are technically exposed, but... get him real quick okay okay very good now let's get the SCU out here start collecting all this we do have the crash up on the hill I think the blocks might be gone for that though <laughs> although I do see stuff up there so maybe not but we'll need a second to take a look. Okay. So let's drop this right here. And we'll see what's up what blocks are up here if they're if they're any good. Then maybe. Does seem like we have a shotgun. Which would not be a bad thing to take. And some other blocks, which we will take. And what is this? Another shotgun? No, that's just uh, one of their machine guns. Okay, let's get back to the SCU. I'm holding down shift as if it would make me go faster. <laughs> So, we drive up to it, break. Oh, things are going to get stuck in me. Oh, there we go. And throw that in there. Anything else that I want? Not really. Okay. And send you back. Now let's get home before we run out of battery. I'm actually, did, were they actually shooting that much, or, because I'm confused of why I didn't drain in battery much quicker. They must have just not done that, must have not done that much damage. And they were machine guns too, so they were only hitting the shield, it's not like they were damaging the blocks on the tech. So, hmm. But anywho, let's get back to base. We'll go over the dune on this side. Because that seems quicker at the moment. Up and over. Oh, the scorching sun. The unbearable heat. But, yeah, let's get some... Let's get some move on this. Where, what? Oh, those must have got de destroyed too. We lost so much on that. Can we have these forward or backward facing? That actually speeds it up decently. Not a ton, but for a forever or for limitless boost, that's not bad. We just can't place the second one. <laughs> okay, and then that mountainous area. Hmm. Or will that go even if I'm not... Yeah, that will go even if I'm not pushing shift too. Which is a little more effective to tell the truth because that means it'll just go. Oop, just scraped the ground just a little. Hmm. But we do have to put up with that engine noise the entire time. Hmm, <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm if I like that. 
Yep, we're just gonna let you roll down the hill. Don't don't mind us. No, I said don't mind us. You're just gonna roll down the hill more, so. <laughs> oh. Sometimes the spawns really kind of mess up the enemy craft that drop in. So. Let's go over that flat. Or flatly. Let's go over this one flatly. And base should be just around the corner. Bouncy, bouncy. Ooh. Didn't actually hit the front things with that, though, surprisingly. Ooh, we actually need to be going this way. Because the salt flats are this way. We, and we do have a cell station out here, which is really, really good. Of course, there is always a cell station within... They, they seem like they're about within... Okay, that is a cliff. Let's go down it sideways. <laughs> but that there's always a cell station within... Kind of in a grid pattern, like a thousand... Or a kilometer from each other, so... Anywho, we are going to be getting rid of that propeller, because it is actually a little irritating in terms of its noise. That salt station is up on a hill, though. So that might be a little irritating. Too. <laughs> a second thing that's irritating. But... Let's get down here. And I think we need to start our next base. I really do. So, at least lay down the groundwork. So we're actually going to take this off. Actually, tell the truth, I don't think that made us any faster. Now that I'm seeing the movement, I think we are going the same speed even with that on. Well, okay. <laughs> we're getting some charge up. Let's use this guy to build the new one because he's going to be a little bit faster and we don't need as much precision in it. So if we have seen anything, when we place a block down, whichever way we're facing is its front. So I kind of want the receptacle area of the base to be to the south. Come on. Turn with me. There we go. So. Okay, he scared me for a second. Let's. Ooh, that's right. If I scroll, it. It pulls it in. And I don't know why it just closed right there. Because I didn't close that. Hmm. That is fairly close. There are two out there? Yeah, there's the other one. You know what? We should probably move this over a little anyways. To about right here. Because we want it kind of centralized. Out here. And north-south. And click. Okay, there's our the start to our new base. It's not much. But it will do. Okay, now to get serious. Now I think I may have an idea on how to get the throughput better. Are you serious? That, that guy's like really close, but I don't see him. This little red dot right here. He's like right in front of me. Oh, it's a little tack. Okay, no, we're good. But I think I know how to increase the throughput without without the so many pads. Is that and it's easy enough. We just separate them into two different lines. And that increases the throughput, but not by much, but it well, it can increase the throughput if you have mixed items, so 
So, let's see here. We want a big block. Like that. So, and then on top of that, we want it then three wide, which is a very awkward number for it to be. I do understand this, but I'm going to try to put it there and hope it lines up very nicely when I try to go through this. Almost did right there. Come on. Yeah, right there. Okay. So we got those pieces on. Let's click this one in. Now, how high? Because I want the elevation to be very similar. So how high were the... Did this go in? So it goes under at about the three block mark. So, yeah, that tech is bothering me. It's really close. <laughs> so that means at about right here, they need to go back in which means that we want the pad to be too higher than that because we're going to need filters going down into it. So, right there, and right there, and let's put one vertical because it might need it. Go back into here, grab one of these. See if I can get it onto that with any decency. Um, but I want it rotated a little. Because I want the signal piece you know what? Right there is fine. Oh, and that's perfect. The signal piece is down at the bottom. Not that we're ever going to use that. So we're going to need four filters. That was not right. That is. Yeah, let's take this off. It's so hard to see with the blueprint. Uh with the blueprint kind of fading. Okay, let's spin that in, just like that. And from there, it will go out. This will be unrefined. This will be refined. Oh, and then we will actually need a third for components. So let's get that in and obviously both sides will have to be made first before we can actually make the component part but that being said I'm gonna leave it kind of like that for a moment to get the defenses up so as we saw from this we need it block girder block girder and block, and that block f goes flush with where the silos would be. Stay away. It's for your own good. <laughs> so, that being said, how does this curl into it again? So we have filter going into a piece of so the filter is what everything is gonna kind of be oh that's the timer I'll finish that thought though is kind of where everything's going to be attached to so if we pulled this out we don't actually have any more conveyors to do so and I'll get more in a little bit 
But so if we built this out, it's going to be filter and then those up blocks will be right here, which is about the point that the girders need to be on. But I'm okay with extending it a little further. So we'll probably start off with putting girders and building around from right here the walls because first things first we're gonna have to have defense for this base first and foremost there is no question about it and i'm not sure if this rock will re oh that's right rocks don't respawn so we can have that that right there so yeah that looks good all right in the next episode we will actually get working on that base's fortifications which will look very similar to this but be probably a little different I think I I have an idea on how I want them to be different so but thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed if you did please do leave a like as it does help the channel and do subscribe if you're not already to catch the next episode as it comes out if you have any comments questions or suggestions please leave those in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as quick as I can and check out the description to see how you can help support the channel and or catch me when I live stream. But for now, that will be it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one. Goodbye.